Disney sent out a PR release announcing that Emma Watson would be playing Belle in the live action version of Beauty and the Beast, uh, directed by Bill Condon, I believe. Uh, so let's talk about that before we get into the subjects. Uh, Christian, what do you think? The Condon part of it, you know, I know a lot of people liked when he was brought on to the Twilight thing, but he still did Twilight movies, so he's got he's to make up some ground with me. Um, but I like the casting of Emma um, Watson. Saying, thank you. So Thompson. Not Emma Thompson. <laughs> Soon to be, be Ellis, strange. but it's Watson for yeah, now. Emma Thompson would be... Uh... So anyway, Emma Watson, for me, I think is a great choice for Belle. And I like what Disney is doing now with their properties because maybe they have a lot of confidence. You hope that they have a lot of confidence in what they've done with the Cinderella Live remake uh, that's coming out. And, and it looks pretty cool. So they're going to take these properties. I, and I think they're doing Little Mermaid also. And Disney's been doing it right. Look, they're doing it right with Marvel. Hopefully, they're doing it right with Star Wars. They, they're paying attention to their properties. So if they give with her cast, I think this could be a really good uh, good thing for the franchise. Mark, yeah, I've been an Emma Watson fan since long before it was socially acceptable to be so. <laughs> I think that this is perfect casting as far as the beauty goes. I'm I'm I cannot wait to see who they cast as the Beast. That's going to be some controversy right there. As far as Bill Condon directing it, look, I don't know that he was given great material with the Twilight things, so I'm interested to see what he can do with a story that is as classic, a tale as old as time, as they sang in the Disney version. I've seen that about a hundred times. So, yeah, let's see. This is one of the ones that I think will translate onto the big screen as far as live action goes better than something else than some other Disney properties. Well, the question is who's going to play the candle? <laughs> I would love to play the candle. <laughs> I, would, I would love to see the, the Beast kind of go back to that classic live action look of Cocteau's movie, where it's almost like a cat. Mm. It's like a 19, uh, sorry, it's like a 1920s or 30s film. It kind of looks like Way a cat in the TV you. show, too. Say what? You, you look like a kid yeah, in the TV cat, show. Yeah, yeah. It, just, it was a little more creepy and weird. I think, you know, this is, this is I think they're going to make like an Avengers out of all these princesses. They're going to have all of them team up. They're going to have Cinderella, you know, mm. Ariel, all, the, all of them team up on some adventure in like six years. Well, remember that, uh, speaking of the cat look, remember uh, there was that TV show with Linda Hamilton, was it called The Beast or something sure. like that? And he was more cat-like Yeah, looking. I mean, they were just, just taking the I think Beauty and the Beast. I think it was called Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. He looked yeah. like a feline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I'm, I, I'm excited about the casting of Emma Watson. Uh, Bill Condon, yes, you can't really judge him on the Twilight films, but I did see Fifth Estate, and I wasn't a fan of that. Oh, right, so right. Yeah, that, that makes me a little bit worried. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.